Welcome to my sci-fi rant. Today, I'm going to talk about something that I've been thinking about, watching some of the videos on YouTube. And it involves science fiction and the idea of social networking taken to the next level. Imagine with the progression of science that you could take a connection from your computer and connect to your mind. Yes, they are working on ways to control sensory devices and other applications using one's mind. It, it is scientific fact. People it, with neural helmets on, with helmets with diodes over certain centers of the brain, can learn to control their thoughts in a certain way to make prosthetics act in certain manners, control software programs, and any other application that you could apply. Now, if this application could become the next mouse or keyboard, and this would start, and this development would start with the disabled, could you imagine if they took it to the next step and actually had an interface that was that bypassed the the monitor? I would call it you mind because if you get to that point, you will mind. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty thought. If someone could download programs into you and out of you. Or who gets to be what and who gets to be who? I mean, even if you're solely you and you can't be taken out of your body, what if you could be imprinted to think you are someone else and vice versa? It could solve a lot of problems with um, homosexuality. Well, now... You've always wanted to be the guy you thought you were. <laughs> well, then again, people might object to that. <laughs> I could just see that. Transgender mind switching? Hmm, there's a thought. Of course, I'm looking for the clones, you know. And you could just clone a new body and jump into that. Imagine you could have a closet full of clone pods and you could be anyone you wanted to be. You know, you would have pretty much the big, tall black guy, the small, skinny Asian girl, the, the middle-aged housewife, and the, the corporate business, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy. <laughs> or some variation of that. It would become cliché ethnicity and race would be totally meaningless. It would be a commodity. Kind of almost like the commodity on YouTube when you can be whoever you want to be as much as you could represent that person. The point is, is that what if somebody goes crazy? I mean, how would you deal with the set neuroses? And that's pretty interesting. You know, but I, I've seen a lot of strange things going on YouTube lately. Seems like people are going bongos. People kissing dogs and freaking out and, and you know, just just strangeness. I, I don't understand it. Maybe it's the social pressure on the social network. But who knows? But imagine how strange it would be if we were all interconnected in some kind of trans cyberspace reality. <laughs> Are you ready for that one? I don't know. I don't know if I am. All right. This is curious for this first weirdo, wacko, sci-fi rant. See you on the flip side.